Hey everybody, Maggie here with a fun new technique that you can do using the brand new Heidi Swap Reactive Paint. This paint works with the Heidi Swap Foil Applicating Machine and allows you for the first time to add foil accents to things you couldn't before. Now if you'll remember, um, the Mink Machine uses foil that is toner reactive and there are tons of videos out there already on exactly how to use printed materials with your Mink Machine. But now with this new reactive paint we've got some really fun new things that allow you to use your machine in a whole new way. So I'm going to show you some fun stuff that um, that we can do with the reactive paint and washi tape. So I've got some really cool patterns here of washi tape. This is two inch washi tape and this is from um, the Marquee Love collection that Heidi has. And let me show you what we're going to do. We are going to make these cute little embellishments look at with the tape and then with the tape and the paint I've added these awesome beautiful gold foil accents can you see those aren't those so pretty okay so now you can make all your own embellishments gold foiled um, on pattern paper and here specifically we're talking about washi tape just using your punch any punch you like your silhouette um, anything that you use to cut out shapes now so let's start from the beginning let me show you what I've done here okay let me just put these to the side okay I started by taking just strips of tape and putting them right onto computer paper now what's awesome about this tape is that this is two inches wide and I love it because then I'm able to use a whole number of punches with this big or small and if you had a huge punch you wanted to use you could just line this up you know so that you have a big um, big spread of washi tape now I have done this already so you guys don't have to watch me put washi tape all over this paper I've used um, these five patterns here and all I'm going to do is punch some of these so I find it easiest to just cut the strips And I'm not too careful about this because I don't really need to be. I'm just going to punch out the shapes anyway. And then with my punch, I'm just going to go through and make some, make some shapes here. This heart is my favorite and I love the way that it looks with the foil. So I'm going to do a bunch of these and use my circle too. I know you guys probably know this already but if you don't a good way to sharpen your punches when they get a little dull is to just punch tin foil or um, wax paper will even work. I like the tin foil because it's metal and it kind of sharpens the blade. So we are going to do some stars These look really cool foiled too. And let's just do a couple more hearts with the yellow and white. Now this I'm going to try to line up a little bit because I know when I foil these I'll kind of want straight lines. So I'm going to make sure that on this pattern my lines are kind of straight to begin with. Okay. So we've got all these shapes punched. Now, this is what we're going to do. You will need a piece of wax paper or parchment paper. I love wax paper. I have it all over my house already. Well, not really all over my house. You know what I'm talking about. I, got it. I already have it, so I'm using it. Got wax paper here, and this is what we're going to do. I'm just gonna lay out my shapes, and then, this is important, you'll want to get more washi tape or masking tape because we're just going to mask off the portions of these shapes that we do not want foiled. So let me show you. I say, let's see, you can use washi tape for this. Um, these are a couple tapes I don't really use for anything else. Um, so you can use this. You'll want to make sure if you do use washi tape that it does not already have um, foil accents on the washi tape 
because those foil accents it's crazy but they transfer to your shape so just use plain old washi tape or even painters tape or masking tape um, I find the masking tape is a little bit harder to remove I mean you still can but it's just a little bit harder so I do like to use washi tape for this and we're just going to go let's see let's cover up some of these areas here and I love this because you can get those really cool um, dipped effects on your embellishments so there's no I mean there doesn't have to be any rhyme or reason to this but you'll want to make sure that you are pressing the tape down firmly over um, the spot on your shape where the tape is touching because you don't want any of the foil um, or any of the paint to get underneath there. You want that nice crisp line. And you really are not able to use this tape again and you'll see why in a little bit. So I would suggest making a whole bunch of these and running them through all at the same time. Um, you, can't, you can't really reuse this. So if you wanted to make, say, one shape and then go back and use the same tape to make another shape just because you don't want to waste the tape, it doesn't really work very well. Um, again, I'll show you why in just a second. But we'll get these all taped off. And I'm probably not doing this in the most efficient way, but nobody's ever accused me of being super efficient anyway. So we'll just get this finished. Make some of these, you know, put the, put the tape at an angle so it really kind of just looks like you've you've dipped your your pieces into gold or whatever other foil you're going to use. Now, one thing I can tell you is you want to make sure that every part of your shape that you do not want foiled must be covered. Okay, you don't want to leave any of your shape uncovered that you do not want foiled. That makes sense, right? Okay, so just cover up all of your shape and press down firmly and almost done. Okay, now the next step, I love this wax paper because it's now can serve also as our little paint tray. So I'm just going to take some of this reactive paint and there's an awful lot in this tube. I've been using the same tube for weeks and weeks and I'm, I mean it's not even halfway gone. So I just put a little dollop right on my wax paper and you'll find when you squeeze this out it's pretty thick, it's tacky, it um, dries tacky and it takes a while to dry. So this is probably not a project that you can get done in 10 minutes. Um, we're just going to take a little paintbrush. You do not need a great paintbrush for this. I think that these were like 50 brushes for a dollar or something ridiculous at Michael's. And we're just going to put paint over our tape. Now, you don't need to be too, too careful about not uh, making sure that the paint doesn't get on the wax paper. You can, that's fine if the paint gets on the wax paper. Um, but just make sure that your coat is even. And I like to make sure that kind of the brush strokes are all going the same way. It's not mandatory, but I don't know. I, I think that it looks better. And you just need like I said, you do want to make sure that you cover all of the open area and you can overlap where your um, tape is. 
make sure that you cover all all of your shape Now I like to do a whole bunch of these at once and then I keep the embellishments out to use on my pages or in my planner. Um, I use them to embellish almost everything now because just that little pop of gold or rose gold or silver um, or any color, hot pink, anything, any color foil you want to use, just that little pop of foil makes everything just look so cool. Okay, so we're finishing up here. And as soon as we're done here, we want to let these dry. Now you can use a heat tool on this to kind of speed up the process. Um, but you know, if you have like a nice even coat that's not super, super, super thick, uh, these should dry on their own in about 15-20 minutes. You'll want to make sure that they are dry though because uh, if you run this through your mink when it's not dry the um, paint will smear and you'll get kind of a weird result. It doesn't look spectacular and it may smear onto places you don't want it to smear and then you'll foil places you don't want foiled and that stuff doesn't come off. So Okay, we are all painted, and we are going to put this aside and let it dry, but I have got already a sheet that I have been um, letting dry, and here is our next step. Okay, these are all pieces that I have painted and are now dry, so now is the fun part. We are going to put these through the mink machine, and the way that I do this, let me show you. First of all, I want to make sure to let you guys know that you will probably want an additional transfer sheet or carrying folder um, to use just for your mixed media work. And I say that because as you can see on here, sometimes the foil and the paint does adhere to the transfer sheets and if I were to run a project through, say, um, like a printed project or even something like a big mixed media project, this foil would probably then transfer to my other project and that's not what I want. Um, so I, 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 would, I would highly recommend having a transfer folder that you use just for mixed media. Now, you, let me show you, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me show you what I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm going to take each of these little embellishments off and you can see that there's kind of a little film where I painted over the embellishment a bit. So that just, it's like little dried glue. You can either pick that off, I just fold it over sometimes or even cut it off if there's tons. Um, it's not a super huge deal, but you know, I just like to have to take that off. Then I just take this embellishment tape and all and stick it right to the inside of my transfer folder. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Hey, to avoid getting that foil and the paint on your transfer sheet, why don't you just put it on a piece of paper and then run that through? Okay. Well, you totally can. But what I found is that if I put these on a piece of paper and then run everything through the mink, that if there is paint or um, some of the other mixed media products that kind of are around, you know, that are not completely on your embellishment, they will transfer to the paper and then they'll be foiled. And then the foil is transferred to the paper and it does not remove very cleanly. You can remove this embellishment even after it's been foiled so cleanly from this transfer sheet, but really not from paper. So I use just my transfer sheet and I keep a separate transfer sheet. That's just what's worked for me. Please go ahead and see what works best for you, but I'm, that's, that's the way that I like to do it. Okay, so we'll get these guys all on here. 
take off all this little extra or even just fold it back keep it right on right on the tape and tape right into our folder okay so now I have all of my little embellishments transferred over to my transfer sheet just move my wax paper out of the way and now I take a piece of foil and I'm going to use gold foil just because I love the way things look when they look um, dipped in gold. I think it's so pretty. Could use rose gold or hot pink or like I said before silver or um, green or red, whatever you like. I, I personally love the look of the gold. So I put my foil over my embellishments making sure to cover everything that I want foiled and then I'm just going to put this through my mink machine. I set mine on number three because I basically use three for almost everything that I do and it seems to work just perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and put this through. Okay, now this has gone through and now we will take off the foil and just open up our transfer folder. And I see there are some spots I didn't do a great job on. And I'll show you those and let me show you what happens when you don't do a great job with the paint. But there are some that it worked perfectly for because I must have taken a little bit more time getting the paint on those. So let me show you. And these just come right up off the transfer folder. Again, even if they stick a bit, they can pull right off. So here's this. We'll just take off our tape. And you can see there, now we've got our gold dipped wood grain heart. Now this is one of the pieces that you can see that I didn't do a perfect job getting the paint on there. You can see kind of little streaks in there, but where I did get the paint on perfectly, I've got this wonderful, beautiful, beautiful gold foiled piece. Let's take a look at a couple of these others. Get these off the transfer sheet. Then pull back the masking tape, and that's just like Christmas morning, isn't it? I love that. Yeah, the masking tape, like I said before, is not as great as the washi tape. It doesn't seem to come off as well, but if you're patient and persistent, it does come off. So look at that beauty. Isn't that just so pretty? And let's see what else we've got here. Let's find, I want to show you how easily it comes off with mask or with the washi tape. How easily the how easily you can get your embellishment out. Okay. See the washi tape just comes right off, and you've got that beautiful, beautiful crisp line. And there you go beautiful gold foiled washi tape embellishment. Aren't they so pretty? And that's it. That's how you do it. Thanks so much guys for being here. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.